it's time. Do you want to go to the location of your special one at the center of the universe? <gasps> yes! I do want to go there, Rosalina. Take me. Take me all the way to the center of the universe to see our special one. Off we go. Hello, it is I, the Gamer Nerd Down Under, and today, ladies and gentlemen, we are completing Super Mario Galaxy. Just give it a second. The, the, the Comet Observatory has to load. There we go. It's turning into a giant Easter egg. Here we go. And we're off with that brilliant orchestral music to send us straight to, I think that's the center of the universe right there. So this is going to be our final episode probably on the channel where we're going to be completing Bowser's final stage at the center of the universe. We're going to rescue Princess Peach, I imagine, and also send Bowser packing one final time in this game. There is a warp field inside the castle! Go Mario. Go Mario! They are inside! Hurry! Thank you, Rosalina. I love how they don't give Rosalina a voice, even though she should theoretically speak English. You never know, maybe she speaks Starish. Mario has arrived! And here we go. So, Bowser's final stage is actually probably the best uh, Bowser stage in this game. It... Or it introduces things that weren't even in the game, like these tractor beam things, to help you walk on the wall. That's very nice of Bowser to let us do that. Alrighty then. And um, Dry Bones is here, he's trying to stop us, but nope. Alright, so. In this stage, it pretty much has sort of like the best of many different level biomes, which I'll be sure to call out whilst we complete it here, so. First, of course, we have the we have the traditional Bowser setting, and I hate you, Dry Bones, for my ruining my perfect run. So here we have a giant ball of molten lava, very reminiscent of the melty molten galaxy that we experienced last episode and a few episodes ago. Now to think about it, and that is the part where there's a moving conveyor belt esque planet making me go backwards in the lava. I thought that was in the in the Melting Molten Galaxy, but I was mistaken. And here we have an ice stage similar to the Freeze Flame Galaxy where we can ice skate. Oh, that was almost clutch, but then I whipped out of the last jump there, so it wasn't as clutch as some might have wanted. And here we have a we have a Dusty Dune-esque galaxy. See all the best callbacks. All the best callbacks reserved for the final Bowser stage. And we go this way. Oh, gee whiz. That was very nearly a sad and completely avoidable death. And then we have here a little segment reminiscent of the space junk. All the space junk manages to, you know, come back. Oh, and the ground disappears. Oh, the ground disappears. It disappears. Sid, stop making it disappear. Please don't make it disappear. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The, the ground disappeared. I couldn't do anything about it. It's okay, because we're back here, so we're going to just pretend that that didn't happen. <laughs> Alright, so the ground, as I previously stated, it disappears. Oh, what? Hey, that's not fair. That's not fair. That ground wasn't supposed to disappear. I mean, I know it's supposed to disappear, but it wasn't supposed to disappear while I'm on the ground. Game. Here we are, to the next section. Let's forget about that last section, shall we? Because I've already forgotten about it. I died? Where? Here we are at the next Bowser section. Really cool sort of inner cylinder uh, aesthetic with the gravity. They play with the gravity in this level in different ways to the rest of the game, which I think is imperative to good level design. When you have an entire game based on gravity, you need to have some tricks left to the final stage. Although I do think, now that I'm thinking, we did see similar things in some other stages, but I I, um, I stand by the fact that it's still not something that we regularly see in this game, so it's still a trick that they left to the last galaxy, I reckon, and I think it should be applauded. Level design, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, Bowser Jr. In this game, 
somehow bigger than Princess Peach. Looking for Princess Peach? Too bad, because she's with me! Oh! It could jump off. It could jump off there. Come on. Come on, Peach. Could have jumped off there and, like, you know, done something. Anything. Oh, well. So now we get to climb Bowser's staircase. Oh, Bowser Jr. is now going to wreck Bowser's staircase. I hope... I hope that Bowser kept the warranty because it's not looking good for all Bowser, to be perfectly honest. I probably should have got that life shroom. But it's okay, I'm here now. I'm gonna have to accept my fate. It's either me or him. Come on, Bowser. One on one combat. Finally! You got here just in time to see the creation of my galaxy in the center of the universe. Watch and weep. Oh dear, okay. This is gonna be a very emotional time, ladies and gentlemen. From this galaxy, I'll rule a great galactic empire with Peach by my side. It will last forever. I will rule every pitiful corner of the universe. So Mario, as you can see, I've got big plans and stopping you is at the top of my list. I mean, you could just make your galaxy and then stop Mario. I think that will just be a really good thing. I ended up throwing a star bit out into outer space. That was helpful. All right then, Bowser. Oh, okay. Bowser is coming at me with the rock power off from the sequel. How did Bowser do that? It's okay, because Bowser couldn't use the power up very well. Neither can I, to be honest. Rock Mario in the sequel is a very hard power up to use. Regardless, we are in the final boss, and this is actually also cool, because Bowser comes at us with some other tactics rather than the making him stomp on a glass ceiling in his reactor. So, you know, gotta give him praise. I don't know why, but we can. Still, I mean, we can still kill him because he's got plants. Why does Bowser have plants? Literally gonna be his detriment. Ah, uh, fire. I'm not fireproof. We've established in the Melty Molten Galaxy, I am not fireproof. But that's okay, because Bowser is clearly not plant proof. There we go. Oh, yes. I am nailing this. This is great. It's getting intense now because the choir is singing and Bowser isn't even on his backside. Okay. So we have to just be calm. Okay, Bowser is going to come at me with his ball move. Baller move, if I may be so bold, Bowser. Land there. You didn't land there. You poor excuse of a Bowser. You didn't land where I wanted you to. Thank you. Alrighty, so this is gonna be it. Come on, no, okay. I'll come at you from the other end. No! There we go. And there we go. I'm just that good at this game. I, d I don't need the life stream. Why do I need the life stream? <laughs> I'm surviving on the three life count. I feel like I'm doing it the intended way without cheating. I have noticed, however, that uh, Bowser is coming at me with everything he's got and it's getting a little bit terrifying. Come on, Bowser. Jump for me. There we go. Oh, come on. That should have hit. Would that hit? That won't hit. Bowser. Oh, I think... He just sort of cycled through his abilities. That's a shame. Ah, oh no, this is bad. This is really bad. I don't think there is another coin. Oh, oh no, there is no other coin. Oh, there is one more coin. Thank goodness. Okay. Come on. There we go. Okay. I can't really do much now because there are no more coins. This is the final. Final shot, Bowser. Get wrecked. Oh, man. Okay. That's right, Bowser. Just plump to your doom. Mario does not care. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. Bowser's dead now, I think. Oh, <gasps> the grand star. And the music is happy and cheerful, which means we definitely won. No need to think about the consequences of actually just completely offing our arch-rival Mario. Let's just bask in the glory of the Grand Star. Because that's all Mario really cares about. I mean, Princess Peach is probably a close second. But the Grand Star is what we're more concerned with. 
go on Mario, flip the Grand Star in the air, there you go mate. Oh, and there we go, Princess Peach as well. Mario, come on, we can rescue her. Hey, And Mario and Princess Peach are reunited and fly their way back across Bowser's galaxy reactor. Just imagine the speech bubble coming up saying, Transform! <laughs> hey, there's Rosalina. I guess we, I guess we lived. We, we lived through that. That's amazing. <laughs> Do you hear the baby stars? These newborns will grow up to become galaxies someday. I mean, it's a rather annoying sound effect to have with headphones on. When stars die, they turn to stardust and scatter across the cosmos. Eventually, that stardust reforms to create a new star, and so the cycle of life continues. But the cycle never repeats itself in quite the same way. So, you'll see. Oh, there we go. There's Princess Peach's castle back on the ground where it should have been originally. I almost forgot that it got stolen by a bunch of, you know, Bowser's airships and an alien saucer. Hey, there's Guppy. Oh, Aguimo. Oh, man. The, the finale. Yeah, that's right. There's Guppy again. All the Octagombas. And there's Bowser Jr. dancing. Queen Bee, bunch of pumpkin Goombas and normal Goombas with toads. Oh, Pee Wee Poana gets to be there too. How oh, nice. Hmm? Huh? Oh. Hey, it's Princess Peach. Oh, and it's a big bad. It's a big bad Bowser. I don't know why Princess Peach isn't freaking out right now, because Bowser is right there. 
<laughs> okay. Okay, Bowser. All new life carries the essence of stars. Even all of you. Ah. Ah. Welcome. Welcome, new galaxy. galaxy. I always love that final line. Welcome, new galaxies. And there we go. That's it, isn't it? That is it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have done it. We have beaten Super Mario Galaxy main story today, this very day. We get to enjoy some credits. Thank you, Super Mario Galaxy. And thank you, dear viewer, for we have reached the end of our Super Mario Galaxy journey. Coming up soon, I want to put up a best of slash fail reel because my favourite parts of this playthrough were the fails, definitely while I was editing. And um, my next playthrough, I want to take a crack at Crash Bandicoot 4, mainly because it, uh, I've played it recently and um, I've never got to finish it and I'd love to finish it on this channel. And I fail a lot and I feel like when I fail I am at my funniest <laughs> and most engaging. Um, Super Mario Maker videos will also keep going. Uh, every week or so when I get to make a video uh, of Mario Maker and until next time I have been the Gamer Nerd Down Under thank you very much for watching and until next time uh, goodbye <laughs> <laughs>